Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to talk about connecting your DualShock 4 or your PS4 controller to your Windows 8 computer, um, with the purpose of of using it for emulation. Um, so the first thing you want to do is download DS4 Windows. Um, the uh, fork that I use is the third result down. If you search DS4 Windows, there's other forks, J2 Kings, a couple other ones. Uh, they all work fine. Uh, this just happens to be the one that I like. Um, so, if you want to use this one, you can. If you want to use a different one, that's fine. Uh, but this is the one I'm going to show you how to use. So, go ahead and click on the third result down when you search DS4 Windows. Download that. And then, once you have that installed, it's going to look just like this. Uh, right now, there's not much going on because we don't have any controllers connected. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is connect your Bluetooth adapter. And for your Bluetooth adapter, um, I suggest you going with an ASUS or an ASIO, which is what I use, um, because they, they've worked for me. Um, just don't go, don't get a Toshiba Bluetooth adapter. Um, if you do have a Toshiba Bluetooth adapter and it's using the Toshiba um, drivers, for some reason, you can try it, but for some reason, um, a lot of people have been reporting that the, the Toshiba Bluetooth drivers don't work with the DualShock 4s. So you can try right-clicking it, going to Update Drivers, and doing it just like this, and then changing it to the generic Bluetooth adapter. That might work. Otherwise, I would just return it and get one of the other adapters. Um, so once you have your Bluetooth adapter connected and the drivers installed, uh, you're going to want to, it should show up down here, really. Um, it'll bring up this Bluetooth menu and then you're gonna want to hold down the share button and the PlayStation button on the controller uh, and just keep holding it until the light starts to strobe and once it's strobing you'll get the wireless controller right on your Bluetooth menu click pair it'll take a minute to to load and once it is connected you'll notice that the light will turn green on your DualShock 4. So we'll go ahead and exit out of there and you'll notice that we have the controller set up here. Now um, for setting it up with Emulation Station, uh, if you're using Emulation Station, um, I would go into your Emulation Station folder, delete the input config, config file, and then when you open up Emulation Station you can set it up as you can set up your controls for your controller. Just like that. And now the cool thing about this is if you're using RetroArch, um, since your controller is being um, recognized as a X input device, uh, you don't really need to set anything up unless you want to change the controls around. Uh, right now I'm playing with my DualShock 4. I didn't need to do any extra setup with RetroArch. Uh, it's really it's pretty much plug and play. Now the cool thing about this is if you disconnect the device as long as you don't pair it to anything else let me just close out of uh, close out of emulation station if we disconnect the device it's still paired to your computer so right now I'm just going to press the PlayStation button and it's going to connect to the computer. I don't need to uh, redo the whole pairing thing so as long as you're not switching between computers or switching it back and forth between your PlayStation 4. All you have to do is press the PlayStation button and it'll connect. And this will connect, you can connect up to four controllers up to uh, the same Bluetooth uh, adapter so uh, you can have, you know, four-player Smash Bros or whatever you're, you're gonna play. Um, if you're not using RetroArch uh, and you're using other emulators, they might not be um, as easily configurable. You might actually have to like go in and, and set up all the controls, but for the most part, um, it is really, really simple getting these connected. Uh, you might run into small, some small issues. Uh, if you do, Go ahead and comment on this video and uh, I'll try to help you out. Uh, if there's any like big issues that a lot of people are having, then I might just do another video to try to fix those. Um, also, one thing that I ran into that was really, really stressful for me, which is really, really dumb too, um, is when you're pairing the DualShock to the computer, 
and you click on the share button and the PlayStation button, don't just hold them for a couple seconds and then let go. If you do that, you'll notice that the light does flash, and so you'll think, oh, it's good, and you'll you'll be just confused because it's not showing up on the blue t uh, on your on your computer, and if it does, and you try pairing it, it doesn't pair. So what you need to do is watch the controller and make sure it's strobing and not just flashing, which means it's gonna like double flash every time it flashes. And so just keep holding it, don't let go until it flashes. So hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then it'll start flashing and then you can let go. And trust me, that will save you a big pain in the ass.